Okay, I know there's been a lot of unpacking videos lately, but... What can I do? There's, there's animals coming, you gotta unpack them. Guys, in today's video, we have received an order from Tangled in Webs. Ryan, I'm super pumped, man. Thank you very much. We are going to be unpacking some scorpions and some tarantulas. So, I'm going to be reading off a list of what came in because I'm still sort of unfamiliar with a lot of the scorpion Latin names, but we have an Idiotheli Mira, which is a very cool tarantula. We have a pair of Ceratogyrus Marshali coming in, and we have a Ceratogyrus Darlingi sling, and two Ceratogyrus Sandari slings. So it was like a super horn baboon order and baboons, a lot of African species. And then for the scorpions, what we have that arrived, and I'm super excited to show you guys these animals, I got two Opistho... Thalmus glabifrons, which is a very cool species of scorpion. And then I got two Hadrogenes or Hadrogenes troglodytes. I'm probably butchering. Troglodytes. Or troglodytes. We'll see. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think Tempest is right. Hadrogenes or Genus. Hadrogenes. I, I'm, I'm terrible. I try my best to pronounce Latin properly, but. I have tried to treat you all as adults but obviously I am the only adult here. Anyways, those are the African flat rock scorpions, which if some of you don't know, are arguably the largest scorpion in the world. And you're probably thinking, no, I thought that was the emperor scorpion. Yes, I think that's more so by weight or just overall morphology. Because they have a long tail, they are sort of larger and beefier. We will see. So let's go ahead. The package is uh, here. Once again, Shipped by Reptile Express. Woohoo! Thank you, Sam. Yeah, let's unpack this and take a look at the awesome animals that came in. All right, Tempest has her incredible knife here. Spiderco. It's literally Spiderco branded. That's, yeah, a little uh, oh. pun? No. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Look at that amazing cutting job, I gotta say. Just cutting through it like butter. Oh man, oh man, excitement here. Here we go. So, we have here a scorpion who has done some cutting in here. Sure has. Uh, this is some paper towel from the packing. We have here a female Ceratogyrus marshali, and here we have, ho ho, one of the glabby, whatever they are, scorpions. We'll take a better look in a second. The glabs, another trogue, so you can get an idea that this is a pretty large scorpion if they're coming in these... Troglodytes. Trog troglogen, whatever. Troglogenus. And here we have the male Marshali, and then here we have some slings. So, in here we have Stratogyrus sandari, another Stratogyrus sandari. Here we have the Idiotheli mira, which is a very cool spider because this is a unique species that actually creates a trapdoor, so it behaves like a trapdoor spider, but it is a tarantula. And then lastly, we have one Ceratogyrus darlingi sling. As you know, I have one of these already. I decided to get a second one to increase my chances of getting a female and or also maybe a pair. Awesome, let's unpack these animals. Focus. All right, so we're gonna start with the Oglabifrons smaller of the two scorpion species and yes we're going to unpack them into these containers here lots of open space and then I'm going to take out the paper towel and put them back in they're just gonna go back into those empty containers to start hello little friend Tempest is very excited I like scorpions a lot oh my god pinchy boy This guy has like a bit of a lumpy thing going on on his side. He's a bit of sass too. 
He's actually stradulating right now. What does that mean? Uh, it's, they can like make a hissy noise. Oh. oh. That is actually amazing. It Sorry, makes me love them even more. Sorry, little one. I'm a little bit concerned about the uh, bulge. It could just be from the shipping. He's like a little. Is it I think it, uh, it is squishy. I don't know. We'll have to monitor it then. Yeah, hopefully it's okay. I'm only gonna move this animal into a cup for now. All right, we gently moved it into a temporary holding container and lid comes on. Careful now, watch your stinger. There we go. So there's one of them. Next one. Hello, little one. Thank you. Thank you. One, two, oops. Ooh, there we go. Yeah. There you go, friend. Well, that one's a lot more, uh... Robust. No lumps. Yeah. Feisty little one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're okay. Next, we're gonna do the H troglodytes or troglodytes. Hello. Hello there. What a cool scorpion. Oh man. Oh man. It's a big boy, just so we're all clear. Oh, wow. Look at that thin tail. Yeah, it's very unique. Okay. A little more defensive than I was expecting. Dang. It's very perceptive. You see that? I can. It's really cool. Yeah, that tail is amazing. Alright, little, hopefully, or. Alright, friend. It was not really so little. Watch your hand. It's like, how dare? You're okay, this is only temporary. Ooh. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Alright, let's do the next one. That might have been the biggest one. My understanding is one of these two is like a beefy monster. I mean, that one was already quite large, so I don't really know what more to expect from this one. But we will see in a moment. That was the beefy one. Poop star, you small one. Okay. Come on out, friend. Yeah, okay. This one also is like kind of weirdly disproportionate.
this one might be male though. You're okay. Come on. There we go. Oh, it's got the lump too. Yeah. What? What is lump? So I'm not really sure about the lumpiness, but hopefully it's fine and it'll correct itself over time and it's not a parasite or something I'm really hoping but we'll see so we're gonna go ahead and put this one in the container as well now alright guys so next we're going to unpack the male Ceratogyrus marshalli the straight horned baboon he has been busy webbing in here and he is a very precious little soul holy mackerel I can see him and he's so small Oh, no, 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 that's too cute for me. What? All right, little buddy. I never informed him he could be cute. What? He might also be very defensive. Okay, but I never told him he could be cute. All right, buddy, come on out. Tiny little male, mature male. Hey, good buddy, have some soil. There we go. Got his last foot off. Oh, oh, oh. We're okay. Uh, lid? Right here. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. <gasps> I'm gonna get a shot of him actually sitting. Can I use your phone again? Mm-hmm. Thank you. You'll notice that the male Ceratogyrus species don't actually have the horns, which is quite interesting. So they lack the horns that we're going to see on the female coming up next. Hey right, buddy, hope you enjoy your enclosure. I'm gonna throw a water dish in there as well. Well, not actually throw, but put a water dish in there as well uh, once he's actually on the shelf so it doesn't shake around and spill everywhere. The substrate is kind of moist right now, but we are going to let it dry out quite a bit because these guys prefer to be dry than moist. Next up here we have the female... How does it look? Huh. We're going to be doing the female Ceratogyrus marshalli. Get this tape off. Full size. Watch out when we pop this open. Oh, oh hello, little lady. Mm. So there she is. I'm just trying to get like her coming out. And we'll come and get the horn. Beautiful. Stratogyrus Marshalli Street Horn Baboon. So next up we'll film the Stratogyrus Darlingy Sling unpacking. Oh wow, you are tiny. Hello. Let's see if we can Gently coax this wee one to go into the other cup. No, oh, I'm not food. <laughs> <laughs> go on in. I'm not food. Cutie patootie. There you go, see darlingy. Next up, we'll do the two sandaries. These guys are definitely a bit bigger. Uh, this is going to be a temporary pill vial because these guys are a little bigger than expected. So we're going to put them in here for now. And then, oh, well, this one already has a little tiny horn. Maybe that means it's female. And then afterwards, move them into uh, something a bit larger. Thank you. Yeah. 
one's a lot more jittery. And so the necessity for the catch cup has come. I think you can just get them in there. Thank you. I think this might be a pair. Because... So I'm thinking this might actually be a pair because one of them like completely like they're both the same size this one really lacks a horn and the other one already has a horn so i don't know if that would just mean that this is a male and the other one's a female i'm not certain so we'll try to slow this one down and keep them a little cooler and speed the other one up by keeping it warmer and that can actually really affect the growth rate on these animals very neat now lastly the last animal we're going to unpack is the Idiotheli Mira. Hello, little one. Okay. Okay, come on up. Can you? Pop it down. <laughs> there you go. The other. So I don't like these ones as much for some reason. Oh. Not the end of the world. But. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Ryan, thank you so much for these animals. I'm super excited to have them in the collection. And I have a really cool scorpion video I'm going to be doing soon. So it's nice to have more diversity in the collection with these incredible animals added. I really appreciate the animals. And I'm very thankful for the Ceratogyrus sandarius. You know what I'm talking about. And the mature male Ceratogyrus marshali. That was really sweet of you. So... Thank you again. Those are some pretty amazing animals. Which one of them was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. Personally, it's hard for me to say, but those flat rock scorpions are pretty amazing. And the Ceratogyrus marshali female's horn is really interesting too to see. So there you go, another unpacking video done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe down below, ding the notification bell to know when the next video is coming, and I'll see you guys in another video again soon.